Hi there, my name is Anna and welcome back to my art channel. So in today's video I'm drawing another fish using my Ohuhu alcohol markers. And um, yeah, you can already see me sketching him out using my mechanical pencil. And you can find the reference photo for this either on uh, Pixabay or Unsplash. I can't remember exactly, but they definitely have uh, photos of fighting fish as this one um, on both sides. So you're very welcome to draw along. Um, I don't think I can narrate this exactly, like I can't tell you exactly which colors I'm using because this one is a lot more complex than my last drawing of a goldfish and there's a lot of colors going into this and it's been quite a while since I recorded it. So we'll see if I can tell you what colors I'm using, but it's not obviously that important to use the exact same colors. You might also have a different set that you're using and you might even be using a different reference photo. So basically just use this as inspiration or maybe just enjoy watching the drawing or painting, well, drawing process that these are markers. Um, yeah, and if you do enjoy it, remember to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. So now I'm using a micron pen to do the outline and uh, then I'm going to rub away my pencil lines and then I will start with the drawing process. Um, yeah, like I said, it's been a while since, since I recorded this and I've got a good few videos recorded that I haven't uploaded yet. For some reason, um, drawing seems to be less strenuous or easier than editing a video, even though I don't do a lot of editing, obviously. <laughs> All I do is really speed it up, add some music and do voiceover. But my computer takes forever to, to then edit it and then to upload it. And I don't know, it seems like a bit of a hassle, even though, of course, I do enjoy that as well. But uh, that's the reason why it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, even though I have been good this year. I, I was uploading nearly once a week for the um, entire year until just recently. But I guess the reason is also that it's just been very strenuous recently. Work is strenuous and I don't know. The weather hadn't been nice, now it's gotten a bit better, so my motivation might increase again. I've also not been drawing as much the last few days, so I do hope that will improve soon. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to get back into it. Anyway, yeah, I'm starting to use my markers now. These are brush tip markers from Ohuhu. And um, yeah, brush tip markers are nice for blending. Not that I have a ton of experience with markers. I've been using them since a bit more than half a year. And obviously I've not just been using markers. I use a lot of mediums, which makes it, well, it doesn't make it difficult, but you have to decide what you want to use and you want to use all the things you have. And now what am I working in? I use acrylics, I use watercolor, I use gouache. I've discovered my love for colored pencils and I have my markers. So yeah, those are a lot of mediums to be working in. <laughs> but I'm enjoying them all and I'm just wishing I had more time to do my art anyway. Never mind my rambling. Um, yeah, back to the painting process, uh, the drawing process, sorry. Um, I'm using a lot of red here and I'm using a dark red just now on the tail. And um, now I'm using a lighter red and I'm blending them into each other, just working the colors into each other by using flicking motions, I guess. Um, yeah, basically I just, I have a darker color, I have a lighter color, and then I work them into each other. It's as simple as that really, and it works well with um, alcohol markers on the proper paper. Um, I'm also adding some blue in some areas and some purple, some light oranges and some neutral gray colors as well. What I liked so much with my last drawing of the goldfish was the translucency or the perceived translucency of the fins by using really light colors at the end of the fins and the tail. So I did a bit of that here as well, using a very light blue. And now I'm suggesting all those little, um, what are they called? <laughs> uh, scales, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't think of the word. Um, I'm suggesting all of these little scales, just kind of using half moon shape motions to draw in those different colors. 
and I'm not covering the, um, the paper entirely. I'm, I'm leaving a little bit of white space and that just kind of, kind of makes the fish look a little more shiny. And I'm layering the different colors over each other. I'm using um, a light cool blue and a bit of a darker warm blue, some pink. Now I'm working on the face using some warm gray and a light skin color. I'm drawing in the black eyes and some shadows. Yeah, the thing that makes um, a drawing or painting come together is oftentimes the contrast, which in this case, the background will provide <laughs> by drawing in a black background. Um, some, some reference photos don't give you that kind of contrast, which could be a reason why a reference photo isn't perfect. But um, anyway, we'll continue with the drawing. <laughs> And he has a bit of a brown head, so I'm adding in some brown scales here. Some more gray shadows around the face. A bit more of the brown and some more dark gray. Adding some more detail to the body, to the body, and also kind of smoothing out the body a little bit. And then now I'm adding some more scales, and I'm using a dark blue, so it's adding a bit of more of contrast. using a relatively light cool blue for the fin on the back of the fish adding some darker blue and some pink and blending it into each other a little bit a bit more of a mauve color and here some more orangey pink grayish blue and here's a red color and again I'm blending it into each other using lighter colors here I'm starting off with some dark red and I'm adding lighter reds and pinks And with this piece, I'm not uh, focused on blending quite as much. There's a lot of texture in this tail, so it doesn't have to be perfectly blended. And I'm just basically layering a lot of colors over each other here. I mean, there's so many colors in this fish. Red and orange and a little bit of, of skin color, yellow nearly. And then there's different shades of blue and there's purple and there's brown. and. There's nearly all of the colors. <laughs> so now I'm drawing in the black background and I think this just, and I just love black backgrounds. It uh, really makes the animals that you're drawing kind of pop out of the page. Um, yeah, so that's nearly the entire painting drawing process, sorry. And I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you again soon in one of my next videos. So take care and bye bye.